morning I'm Dr. Peacock. This morning we'll go over the Aiken osteotomy. Uh, the Aiken osteotomy is a very important tool to use mentally invasive. It's a, probably one of the best procedures you could ever learn. And one of the uh, uh, more simple procedures that we teach first at the academy. I'm an associate professor at the, of the Academy of Amatory Foot and Ankle Surgery. And I want to show you a case this morning which uh, this, uh, the Aiken will work real well for her. If you look at this patient's foot, uh, she had a, a bunion done some years ago uh, by another provider. We see here where her toe is in a very abductive position still, so it's abutting on her second toe. Uh, this little mentally invasive procedure is a very good procedure to correct something like this without having to go back into doing a lot of surgery for her. Uh, one of the reasons we don't want to redo a lot for her is she has marginal circulation. We did run a vascular test, so she will heal from this surgery, but we're going to keep it kind of simple. If you look at her toe here, you can see what the cause of her pain is she's about a, a lesion here, as well as a lesion on the big toe. You can take these spurs off, but it doesn't really correct the deformity as well as an Aiken would do. So to do our Aiken, all we're going to do is under the uh, fluoroscopy, we're going to make a small stab incision here, and basically take a wedge out of, of the uh, proximal phalanx to move her toe over like this. This is a great adjunct procedure, even if you still do traditional surgery. You know, how many times have you done maybe an, eight, an Alston at the end, even though you did your surgery real well, the toe is still over. This would be a good uh, procedure just to kind of throw in to kind of get your toe straight. So this is a very good procedure. I'm going to show you the, the surgery this morning on this patient here. And um, so this is one of our academic videos for the Academy. And we'll get to that shortly here. Here's a continuation of our Aiken osteotomy we're going to do this morning. Here's our preoperative x-ray. You can see where she's had a bunion procedure performed, but still has that uh, adductus position of the hallux, and this is abutting her second toe. So what we're going to do is, uh, in the base of the toe here, we're going to make a wedge and move the toe back over immediately. For this patient, she has some marginal circulation as well, so we don't want it to be too aggressive with her surgery. You can see we did, she does have a uh, within normal limit ABI, so we did do waveforms. Uh, and to check her circulation before, just to be on the safe side with her surgical procedure. Okay, we're getting ready to start the video here uh, on the Aiken. Uh, note our time is 9.37 in the morning. This is a fairly quick procedure. And this patient, this is, one thing I want to talk to you about is that this patient does have, uh, is beginning to get an alteration here, so these patients with vascular compromise, it's even more important to kind of correct their condition. So we're getting ready to under the C-arm. We're going to locate our exact position of where we're going to make our incision. And we're going to make a stab incision down to the periosteum. Once we're there, we kind of scrape against the periosteum. I then take a small uh, rasp and go into my incision site and form a channel underneath the tendon. One, one little stroke will do that. And then also underneath as well. So that, that's a fairly simple, quick uh, dissection here. You're avoiding all your vascular structures. Now, what I have recently started doing is using a small rhizome instead of a, a, the large rhizome uh, because sometimes you can cut the skin with a, with a longer uh, teeth here. So you go to the start. I usually start at the bottom here. Get my exact angle. I'm going to go with the aching here, which is going to be right here. And then we start this procedure by uh, cutting through our cortex. The side cutting burr cuts fairly quick. What you want to do is kind of make your cut where you're doing a little bit of reciprocating motion as well as letting the side of the burr uh, do the work of cutting. Zips through pretty quick. You can actually feel the lateral cortex as you do this. You're not in your soft tissue, so you're not injuring any kind of soft tissue here. This is all in the bone itself. Try to stay in the same plane. You don't have to have the burr real fast. You don't want to hear a buzzy sound. You really want to kind of hear just a... Uh, a little, just a slight bit of vibration. Most people, when they first start, they go too fast with the burr. That's an issue. Now you can see I've already pretty much had my cut made. I'll show you down on the C arm. You see my cut? Here's my cut in my, in my bone here. Now what I'm going to do now is I have to move her bone over quite a bit just to get a real good correction here. So we're going to feather that medial side out so it will get a little bit better on correction here. You can do this with a 3-1 burr if you want to get a more extreme correction. I'm just going to do it with my same burr again just to kind of get me up and just kind of feather this out. Make sure your placement's right. 
and placement is acceptable there. So now we're going to kind of just feather this out. And what I normally do is take my finger, my hands, and just push the bone where, as I'm feathering it. So the same way you do in traditional weave. You want to kind of use this feather motion to get the toe where you want it to be. What I'm doing now is just kind of feathering the medial side of the cortex, pushing the bone where I want it to be, staying in the bone, not the soft tissue. There's no tourniquet here, so you can see we really don't even have any bleeding going on here. Part of that is because of some of the situations with the circulation, but the other part is that we're just avoiding vascular and soft tissue structures. So now basically at this point we're going to do a little green stick fracture, and we did that. And so here we have our, our, our procedure here. Now our toe is going to be over. Note the time. It's now 9.40. That, that procedure took me 8 minutes. So we're basically done with the procedure. Now when she stands, she's going to be basically away from her second toe when she stands like this. Okay, now bandaging is very important in minimally based surgery. We're not going to use screws. We're not going to use even a, even a suture here. Uh, so we're going to, it's a very important aspect of bandaging because we have to splint the toe where we want it to. Now I like to use uh, Unaboot and I think it gives you a good base to kind of splint from. So what I normally will do in most of my surgeries is use Unaboot directly to the skin. And we don't have to worry about our suture, you know, our skin being moist because we don't really have any larger incisions or anything. So with this, it, it does fine. It doesn't macerate our incisions. So once we get one layer on like that, I usually cut that totally in half. This is for the Aiken specifically. And some of the bandaging does kind of vary. Once we have that done, I'll take a couple 3 by 3s let them go out all the way in unison here. So I'm going to double those up, make us a little long bandage, see? But what we can do now with this, with our, our base of the, of the of the unibook, we can actually put the toe where we want it to be and basically kind of just clamp that down to our unibook. See how that hang, it holds for me? I don't have to struggle with this. I don't even really need a lot of assistance here. Once that's done, I kind of lay it down with a basic uh, wrap here. So wrap that a couple of times. Go back over where we had just gotten a correction there. Wrap that on over around the ankle, just kind of a standard bandage from this point. And just to kind of make it look nice, like the guys in Memphis taught me to do. Kind of double up a little bandage here, and a little bandage on the bottom. And there you go, you're basically done with your surgery here. So now we're done. Get a little coban at the, at the very end. And we're finished up with our surgery. The patient will do well with this. Uh, once again, if you note, note our time here, we began at 9.32. It is now 9.44, which is why, how much, that's uh, 12 minutes off from the time we started, including our bandage and we're completely done with the surgery. So for a total of 12 minutes time here, we got a good correction here, done in our local anesthetic in the office, very safe, don't have to worry about the complications with, uh, with general sedation. Got a great correction here, the patient will be happy with this. You can now not have to worry about getting an alteration on that second toe and having all kinds of issues with pain and shoe gear.